Today, let us talk about research problem. But before that, we have to define research. Research defined as a systematic investigative process that normally used to increase or refine the current knowledge by discovering new facts. Research is divided into two main categories. The first one is basic research and the second one is applied research. The main and the most important step in any research is to identify the research problem by answering the questions. So if you identify the research problem, it will be very easy for you to design the research questions and research objectives. So in order to have such an excellent research problem, you're supposed to have the following criteria. Number one is curiosity. You're supposed to be curious. Why shall I do or conduct this particular research? To make it simple, let's take one example. If the project's failure rate is very high in telecommunication sector in country X, that because maybe the projects delivered not on time, not on budgets, and with poor quality. So as I'm a researcher, I have to be curious why all these things happen. So I have to be curious and I wanted to know the main reasons. The second criteria is gap identifications. You have to identify the gap. Means we have to fill up the gap by adding such new research that could be because we have no information or maybe we have a little bit of, of, of the information. The third criteria, you're supposed to have such great contributions. You have to have such good contributions. Not only good, what I mean here is significant contributions to the existence body of research. And the fourth criteria is anticipations. You have to anticipate the solutions. You have to anticipate the solutions, which means you have how, how you are going to solve this particular problem. So how to solve it in the proper manner? What I wanted to say, make sure when you are going to solve this particular problem, you have to have the ethical approach. So that was the first phase. Maybe the second one I wanted to comments about the common mistakes that normally master and PhD students, they, they used to, to have it in their dissertations or the thesis itself. The most common mistakes for master and PhD students when they are going to write the research problem, their references is very old references. For example, now we are conducting a research in 2019, the references should be 2018 and 17 as a maximum. And these particular references, they must be from the same country. What do you mean? Let me give you one example. Let's say I'm conducting a research in projects in telecommunication sector in Malaysia. So my references, they should be from articles that they were uh, writing about telecommunication sectors, uh, projects, uh, sorry, projects in telecommunication sector in Malaysia. It shouldn't be from Hong Kong, China, Algeria, and so on and so forth. The second common mistake that they're supposed to have, they don't have any figures or statistics or numbers in the research problem. The third common mistake, they cannot differentiate the difference between research problem and problem statements. Problem statement is a part of the research problem. I think, hope these things will be useful for you.